ஹே செந்து வெல்கம் 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 காய்ஸ் ஐ திங்க் ஷவுட் அவுட் டு ஃபேஸ்ட் ஃபேஸ்ட் கஸ்டமர் செந்து ஐ கண பி லுக்கிங் அட் பிக் பிளான் செக் ரைஸ் so that's the focus for today we're going to be looking at a number of spots so uh focusing on check rice spots uh in different stack sizes so we're going to be looking at we can start at 30 big blinds because that's where most of the uh, you know mtt mtt play is going to happen some of the notes i have prepared for you guys prior is like we're going to we're going to test out the theories okay uh some of the theories that 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 floats around or these check raise more versus a small bet as opposed to a big bet uh so we're going to look at three type of boards uh who is what the advantage is board the neutral board the disadvantage is board and same thing goes for other other theories as well check raise that are top pair plus and also like non showdown draws uh middling hands just call check raise more when shallow than deep so when you're deep you need a good value hand to actually to check rise rather than uh, just a top pair and then no re-raising range when villain three bits so we're going to look at three different board textures uh, across different stack sizes and then see if our theory uh, holds true so that's exactly what we're going to do uh, but before going uh, going into going into going into deep into this i just want to show you guys uh, uh a hand uh, which was uh, in w cube 25k by in to see how check rise has really been executed by the pros so this is a 2.5 million guaranteed uh event just give me two second guys i just uh, um start this up so uh this hand features uh uh kelbens on the big blind uh luke reeves races from the button and then he defends and then it goes it goes bet and then a check raise there as well so if you just join now do say hello guys i'm just going to play this clip um to just show you what's going on here so kelbuns is on the big blind with ace eight of diamonds and bit too easy luke reeves races it's a standard defend could be three bit pre but these guys are playing for big money like 271000 for fourth uh and these guys are too equal stacks and there is a short stack there as well so uh, a lot of icm considerations in there too so if you are uh in this in this spot um kelbuns does have the flush draw and luke reeves does have you know the uh top pair so this is an opportunity for him to check raise and then if he does have anything like a weak holding that might go off so it's a good opportunity for him to check raise but in this time uh he has top at top kicker is not going anywhere so yeah so this is a good opportunity for check raise for from a, from a kelbuns perspective but when he calls his range in this exact spot where icm is in place big money is in place i think he knows that in a bit to see is not calling too light here and he has all the nut flush draws the front door draws he's not going to call it back door draws so he has some short on value so he checks on this three of hearts turn um so that he can realize his equity so the turn goes check and then he bets like gain a quarter pot so now he's not going for a double check raise here i think he's going to call uh which is to just to be good so and the jack of hearts is a is a card where he doesn't get to bet anyway um you think the turn bet by bdc must have been big uh i think in this icm spot sendel probably small bets have the same kind of effect as the big bets uh because if he raises a bluff like you know 8 9 or you know those kind of uh you know those kind of uh holdings uh he's not going to go anywhere so it's okay to get uh it's okay to you know build up the pot a little bit and then see where we are at the the river so so yeah so that's where we are at i think uh uh so by the way he flopped the flop and check the turn uh well you wouldn't say so sendel i think uh, let's say he is uh he's also you know uh, 
he's also he's also human, so he can have a ten. He can have he can have sevens. He can have deuces. You know. Uh, <laughs> so we have no idea what's gonna what's he gonna uh, they're gonna they're gonna balance they're gonna balance perfectly right so and so things so let me let me just do some housekeeping to see if uh, Mr. Ui is there because uh, he's the one who's supposed to announce it to people uh, let's see let's see guys um, Hey Alex, just uh, give me two seconds before we dive deep into the stuff and then we have just Sendel here. So Alex is the one who's supposed to do the moderation. Um, so let's see. All right, let's begin guys. I think that's okay. Uh, let's go and test out our theories and then go from there, okay? Uh, don't worry too much. I think if when Alex comes, he can do the pushes and stuff, so people can join. Uh, he hasn't notified. He hasn't sent the notification yet. So send the. I think it's at the moment it's just you and me, but hopefully a few people join in a in a in a in some time. So let's go. Let's go. Big blind versus button. So click on this, which is uh, information. Uh, come on, okay, and we're gonna play as out of position and there is a number of boards in this uh, range as you can see from 30 big blinds perspective all the pairs gets three bet uh, So we don't have any pairs in our range uh, The top the top linear portion, you know ace, good ace eggs. We were lacking good ace eggs king queen uh, From our range as well. We have all the suited all the suited combos and All the offsuit junk as well from a button perspective. He has a wide range all the sense that is missing is, uh, is that he's limping in GTO. So that's how the range looks. So it's so important to keep in mind what the ranges are being played because most of our strategies depend on the ranges that people play. So in your population, if people play different ranges, strategies will change, of course. So, all right, we're just gonna look for spots. Ace, King, Jack. So this is an disadvantage board for us, okay? Uh, it's obviously favors button because he has all the ASX hands, you know, King X hands, all the suited hands, the draws, jacks, kings, aces, whatnot. We don't have any of them, so um, we do have some two pairs from our range. If you click on the big blind, we do have King Jack. Uh, we don't have Ace King, we don't have Ace Jack. So we, uh, from a strong portion perspective, we lack uh, big the button the button trumps uh, from a from a. Uh, from a middling portion type of hand, still button trumps. We have a lot of trash. So this is this is definitely not an advantageous board for us. So any bit small with our exact holding, this is pure, pure trash. So we're just gonna give up, So which is okay. But the main point is we can fill up our notes here, right? Check raise more versus a small bet as opposed to a big bet. Hey, hey, how, how are you? How are you, Siflops Poker? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Um, so we're looking at check raising strategies. Uh, so let's see what hands are check raised against this uh, smaller size from the big blind versus the button on a on a board that is super disadvantageous to us. So we do have a raising range. Uh, even on a disadvantageous board like this one, we do raise around 12.7%. So I would say around 12%. And the hand candidates that chooses our King Jack, our only strong hand is racing. Queen 10, okay, a straights. We do have some straights too. So we do have some straights, which is racing. Uh, our good ace hands, which is the ace nine is the best ace hand that we can have. Uh, that is racing as well. So, and uh, to balance that, I guess these flushes, if you look at 10, five suited, 10, four suited, uh, 10, three suited, 10, two suited which has the flush draw plus the gut shot, okay? So those are all those are all racing. And queen three of diamonds, which is the back door, uh, diamond draw, back door, flush draw. So that's racing too as well. So, so yeah, so, so those are those are the compositions. So as we said here, on a disadvantageous board like this, we're gonna be racing top pair plus. So on a disadvantage, we're just gonna say good top pairs uh plus and then good draws okay these are all drawing to the nuts 
Hi Salim, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, good draws to uh, do uh, do check raise, okay. And the middling hands like a king just calls, okay, which makes sense. So on a disadvantage board like this, so just calling. So there is no raising happening. So if you do look at this one, this is pure trash versus uh, the nuts. Uh, we don't know about deeper stacks for this exact board. So we, when we look at it, uh, we will look into it. We can't also test this theory. So we're just gonna ignore it for now. So let's go to the next board, okay? And see if we can hit a board that favors us. Ace, five, three. Uh, eight ten again again this is this is not a it's not a good board for a range there's no check racing happening we're just gonna fold and again we're gonna look at the check racing range for this one uh, it should be similar I guess it's more so ace five three is more connected towards on the wheel side of aces so we do have a lot of four six we do have uh, thank you Siflops poker if you like it I like the new update um, uh, thank you for letting us know it really motivates us. Uh, so we do have a number of wheel portion of the, like if you, if you look at this one, there's all many straight draws, many flush draws, ASX hands, you know, two pair hands. We do have a lot of two pair hands too. So uh, it's kind of a neutral board in my opinion because button range is wide as well. So they do, they do have a number of, you know, wheel portion of the range too. So I would classify this as neutral. So again, I would say 20%. Uh, and the hands are again the same kind of thing, same good uh, nutted. It's more nutted plus good draws to the uh, good uh, good draws with equity. So, so those are those are the hands anyway. So, all right. If you if you're here, uh, do say hello, um, guys. Uh, and then if you do have any questions regarding uh, things that we that we're doing, uh, do ask away. So I might. I just showed uh, the hand from W uh, Cube 25K by in earlier. I might show it in the middle once a few people turned up. Uh, Sendhil, you do have to watch twice, um, but that's okay. You like you like Burns and the way that he plays. So yeah, hey, Christos, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. All right, eight five suited, king ten four again. Not it's not a racing hand, <laughs> guys. So we're just gonna. We're just gonna click through this and then see uh, King 10 4 is again an advantageous board for uh, the button, so it's again disadvantageous board for us. So I assume, um, uh, sure, sure, so flops. I think um, we use a program called Blue Stacks. If you are in Discord, uh, do hit me up in Discord. I will help you. Uh, it's a it's a free Android program emulator that you can do, so you can have access to Google Play. And you can download the apps from there and then purchase it like using your Google Play account. Same, same as uh, it just it's just a it's just an emulator. So yeah. So hit me up in Discord. Uh, do join Discord, guys. Discord is in uh, the link is in uh, the description. So once you get there. So yeah. So this is this is an uh, this is not an action hand. So let's fold and then see what happens. Um, so uh, again, I would think the check raising strategy, the equilibrium check raising strategy, will be similar to the board, the previous board that we saw, King 10 4, and I would see, and I would expect like it will be same, similar kind of, you know, good, uh, good flush draw, good draws uh, that wrap around King and 10, and uh, you know, the club draws, and then if there is backdoor straight draws with uh, the diamond backdoor straight draws as well, uh, we'll check race. Let's see, I think enough of me talking. So the check racing on this board is 20%, so we have seen, one instance where it is only SI board is raising only 12%, but a king high board is raising 20%, which is uh, it's kind of the norm, because if you see that neutral board is again raising 20%, so which tells me like this could be a neutral board, um, but we'll find out, we'll find out. Uh, so all the king X, all the good king X, king jack, king 10, king nine, king eight, all of them are racing, king four are like the two pairs obviously is racing. So we do have king four, we do have 10 four, um, we do have, you know, we do have all the king x, good king x uh, to go with it. So the more value that you're gonna raise, the more uh, the more bluffs you can uh, you can uh, you can you can go along with. So that's the theory. So here you do have uh, a number of. Um, I just moved my phone away because it might 
uh, it's blinking um, so yeah so so yeah so more bluffs you can have and if you look at a6 off I think it might be uh, to do with a club and a diamond no the diamonds are ace of diamond six of clubs okay it should have a club on a diamond there so ace of clubs or the one with the club on the diamond is racing as well so so yeah so so again like the uh we do have i so i need to classify this as a neutral board um i don't know alex you have to test it out if it doesn't work i will we will look at it after the stream finishes so hey alex welcome 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 to the stream i've been doing solo uh, not solo sendil was with me so for the last 15 minutes uh so i will say we'll say hey it works stream labs things works guys i think even though we, we're not doing it uh, often the commands still work uh it's a hit and miss with stream labs i think i need to study upon it so but yeah who cares all right queen five two 30 big blind steep spr is four to one queen five deuce we do have a spade uh we do have you know blocker to the pocket fives uh, uh, blocking all the two pairs but even though he can't have queen five he can't have queen deuce uh, so he can have queens he can have deuces those are the strong hands so this could be this could be a candidate for the first check raising uh, based on this I think 20 big blinds I'm check raising this all the time um, I don't know I don't know what do you guys think uh, do you think this will be a good check raising candidate queen five deuce I think we most of them not we're gonna expect a small bet like we do from here. Um, check call, say Salim. Um, remember that we are paying MTTs. We want to deny some equity. He's betting small. Uh, we do block two pairs. We do block, you know, pocket fives. All right, let's uh, let's go check call. Okay, fine. Now we do hit the six of clubs, which is a, a six of hearts, which is uh, good for our our range. You know, we do have three, four. We do have five, six. We do have seven, eight, and we do have spade draws. So, do we want to take the lead here? What do you guys think? Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe not. I think it's just a small bet that's going to call. We want him to bluff uh, with his hands, and then we what a run out, guys. I think uh, if only it happens in <laughs> it happens in real life. So now the six of spades. I think he can't have flush draws. Uh, he can't have a queen. Uh, so his, uh, his range mostly uh, limited to when villain checks. Uh, I think his range is mostly, you know, he, he can have sevens. He can have some, you know. Uh, no, uh, sevens is betting, right? So if you do look at his checking range by unticking these guys, uh, he has 5x with some of them which are blocking. He has some ace highs. He has some pairs you know queens jacks tens and nines and eights because obviously this is a perfect opponent which has uh, some traps so he does have queens um he has some deuces so bet 40 say salim so let's go uh, closer size is bet 50 and that is correct so we can get some we can get some value from there so hello guys welcome 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 if you're if you just joined uh do say hello so i know you guys are here we're looking at check racing spots um for some pleasures for sure it can be our leading range yes um am i on a delay guys i think uh, i set the delay to very minimal so if you uh as soon as you chat i should be I should be able to say it and then uh, talk back but if there is any delays let me know so king king nine ten six five so this is a favorable board uh, maybe maybe this is this is not a pure i think um an eight high board a seven high board low connected board so those are all our advantages board i think but ten six five i think it's still in the neutral neutralish kind of uh area so uh, we're just gonna check we're not going to check race. I think King Nine. It doesn't. We had one over and uh, yeah, and one under. Probably not a not a call. It's an easy fold. But if you do look at the racing range, guys, today is more of lot of hands. But looking at different boards and see how much we are racing. So ten six five. So when the high card goes down in value, the racing 
frequency goes up guys you guys are seeing a pattern here right so this is more uh towards the advantage but but still neutral in my opinion so we do raise around 25 percent so uh it's still a lot the reason being obviously we do have good 10x we do have 10 6 we do have 10 5 um and why is king 4 racing i think let's check uh king four of clubs king four of diamonds king four of hearts all the back to all the king high back doors are racing so which is interesting uh obviously it does have the back door straight drop back door flush drop so this is all nothing so i just wondering what are the values uh that complements the nothing right so we do have five six so which is two pairs uh we do have ten six we do have yeah, we do have we do have many many ten x hands, so we are raising a number of top pairs, and that's exactly why um, that's exactly why we do have a number of air that actually goes goes along with it too. So, um, welcome guys if you just joined because Alex uh, sent a notification to you guys that the stream is on. Welcome, welcome. We are. Uh, we are looking at check racing spots and i will show uh, a hand that was played by the pros uh this is w cube uh 25k uh final table uh 600k for the top uh kale burns is the one who we're gonna watch and he is having ace eight of diamonds there um and bit too easy who is look reeves races to 2x and kel burns is going to defend the big blind and the flop comes 7 10 deuce uh flush draw for kel burns and top air top kicker for look reeves bit too easy he bets small so this is this is a this is a this is a great spot um uh this is a great spot for uh for check raising, um, he does have a draw, the nut flush draw. Uh, this is this is more of an advantage sport to us, as you have seen just now on a 10x uh, 10x for rainbow board. We are check raising 25%. So we're gonna see. Uh, he's gonna raise it up to hey Raghul, hello, 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 welcome, welcome. The crusher, high stakes crusher in GG. Uh, good to see you. Good to see you. So he did raise it up, so check raising. So this is the strategy that we're gonna be working on uh, today with Post Flop Plus to see different type of boards, different stack sizes, and then see how ranges uh, change and how much uh, we our check raising frequencies is gonna change and take some notes and share with you guys in Discord. Uh, so yeah, so he did check raise three of hearts, uh, even though it looks like a favorable card for the big blind. Uh, Kale Burns did choose to check. Uh, the reason being, obviously, these guys are playing for two hundred and seventy-one thousand dollars. And Crown Up guy here, who is Fedor Halls, is super short, so they don't want it to fight against each other, of course, and then bust before Crown Up guy. That would be a shame. Uh, Jack of Hearts is really an action killer. Uh, it's an over card to uh, ten, completes all the draws. Uh, I mean, complete all the straight draws that he might be racing. Uh, he also misses the uh, flush draw through. So if the flush draw misses, I think these guys uh, turn off quite frequently. Uh, I don't know who's Ace Ventura, Alex. Why? What happened? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so that is that is the hand, uh, guys. I think that's uh, that's how. I don't know how much you are check racing uh, in your games. Uh, people are <laughs> oh, i see what you mean i see what you mean so <laughs> i get it now so i don't know whether you guys are check racing but even with so much money up for stakes uh so much uh you know uh glory waiting on uh, 25 k final table these guys are check racing so you shouldn't be shying away from check racing guys so our job today is to take some notes on check racing different stack sizes different boards and then see uh, how much we're check raising against a GTO opponent and then take it from there, right? So All right, next spot guys uh, I think uh, ace four of suit against uh, 
King King of Diamonds, Nine of Clubs, Five of Clubs, so which is uh, it's a neutral board, so I would expect it. We should be racing uh, twenty to twenty-five percent of the time, so which is more than what you guys think. I think that's what I thought. Like twenty percent is nothing. I think we're gonna be check racing good good hands. But if you look at the range that Post Flop Plus is gonna show you, the hands that it's gonna raise, it's gonna raise a lot of hands that's backdoors as well. I think if we do have Ace of Clubs, Four of Spades, it will choose to raise. Um, so yeah, so not sure. I think S4 is just to give up. I think this we just have one over card. Probably not to give up. I think it wants to call 70% of the time. But the main thing is to look at the rain split, guys. And this is, um, again, a neutralish kind of board because of the wide ranges given between the button and the big blind on a 30 big blind stack. So we do uh, do 18%. So we kind of we kind of getting it. So one fifth of the time we should be racing and the range looks like top pair plus. So if you do have King X, good top pairs like King Deuce, King Three, King Four, King Five. So those are all not raised that much. But if you do have a good King X in your range, the best King X in your range, uh, that's not three bit prayer, do raise it up and uh, do raise your gut shots, you know, eight, seven suited, um, you know, especially with the club draw and the diamond draw or racing more often than the heart and uh, uh, the spades. And of course, like based on the number of values that you uh, value combos that you're going to raise, make sure that you're hitting that one fifth, uh, one fifth percentage uh, on a neutral board like this one. So do uh, do hit it. We, we are able to see an advantageous board for us, which is a low connected board. Um, Let's see. Let's see if we can hit it or a paired board uh, 776, which is our usual usual board. So, so happy Tuesday, Gavin. Happy happy Tuesday. Good to see you. Good to see you in the stream. Welcome, welcome. All right. We, we said a paired board, but it's a 10, 10, 9. So button does have a number of 10x in his hands. So all the offsuit 10x, all the suited 10x, he does have. Uh, so it's not a particularly advantageous board for us. We're just going to check. We do block some queen tens. We do block some seven, uh, queen nine, but I think this is an easy fold, guys. I think I'm uh, the hands are a little bit boring, but the rain splits are the ones which is super interesting. And look at this board, a paired board. It's purely playing. I think 36% uh, raise and 52% fold and 10% call. And I, I would say if you're running this solve today on a paired board at this stack depth. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be playing raise or fold. And look at the racing percentage; it's like thirty-six percent. And if you if you eliminate call, uh, some of them will be uh, going to raise. So paid board is we're gonna be looking at thirty-seven percent. As we're gonna see, ten, ten, seven is gonna is gonna be is gonna be rising. And if you do look at this one. Queen seven suited is rising. Yeah, I think queen seven suited, which is a spade, club, diamond is rising. Uh, and obviously any 10 is rising, any say, any nine is rising as well. And all the cards that wrap around nine and a 10 is rising too, because we do have a number of draws around it. So this is an interesting board. Hopefully we hit that seven, seven, six board and then see what happens in that board as well. But this is an interesting thing that you guys, an outlier that you guys can see that if it's a paired board, Big blind, check racing, it's going to be raise or fold mostly, and then do raise it up. Don't just be passive, and you can raise 40% of your range. Um, and what's the raise size? I think I forgot to see the raise, uh, raise size, but we, we will be seeing at some point. All right, now we have do have a middling hand, a queen jack, which is still a strong hand against the button because he can have jack 10, he can have, you know, 10s, 9s, 8s, 7s, 6s, and draws, like, you know, uh, uh, you know, like, King King Ten maybe uh, that he's gonna still bet for smaller bet sizing. So we do see smaller bet sizing. Do you think is this a board uh, Ace Jack Three? Do we have an equity advantage against the button? Uh, he does have Aces Jacks and Ace Jack. Uh, we don't have that. So we our top is removed. We do have a lot of trash. Um, our middling portion seems to be the same. So. So we don't have equity, we don't have nut advantage, we don't have, uh, we have a lot of trash, so we have to play passively. Uh, for that reason, even our good hands is gonna is, is not gonna check raise much. So I would say it will be around 12 to 
So this is definitely a call. Um, three repeats. Uh, we can't rip a three uh, and then go about racing because what threes we do have in our range. I think we do have a number of threes, right? We do have all the suited threes. Uh, we do have the good offsuit threes too. But ace three would have raced pre-flop. I mean, uh, raced on the flop. Uh, jack three would have raced on the flop. So, and some of the threes would fall to a, even a small bet because this is a double Broadway board with a low card. So we don't have that many threes and we can't just lead this turn. Uh, if you guys do disagree, do say, um, yeah, yeah. Th thank you, Sandal. Yeah, that's that's the thing. We can't we can't rip a three. So, uh, so we're just gonna check and see what happens. And then the club comes along. When he checks back, should we go for a thin value on the river? So this is. I know this is not the focus that we're doing today. Uh, but is Jack a good enough candidate for value betting here? Maybe. Uh, I would say so. I think if he has an ace, he would have bet. Uh, <laughs> bad river. Many draws get there. No. All right. All right. <laughs> I changed my opinion to the uh, democracy of the people. I'm just trying to get a showdown personally. Uh, yes. Yes. True. 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 But can we like uh, get value from a 10? Value from... His draws would have bet the turn too, right? His ace would have bet the turn. His clubs would have bet the turn. Um, his draws would have bet the turn. So I personally want some value. But if you guys say so, um, let's check it out. And check is correct. Uh, check is correct. So let's check this one. I think, are we having any leads? Uh, we do lead with a sex hands. And we do lead with all the flush draw, all the flushes. Okay, there you go. I think uh, if you if you do want to lead, we do have the a sex hands. We do we do have the flushes in our range to lead. There is no reason to re lead queen jack. So that's the reason why, because our leading range is already you know a lot of combos with the flushes and obviously some of the bluffs with the nut flush blocker maybe. So those are our leading hands and Queen Jack is not, not one of them. And uh, yeah, and this is just a call, easy call, easy call. Oh, uh, wow, this is a fold. Uh, <laughs> this is a fold, guys. I think Queen Jack is a fold. I think Sendel, you are, you are a genius. I think uh, what he said was correct. And then Gavin, who was also trying to get it to show on personally, I think you're right as well. I think uh, it's, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go I wouldn't go overboard because it's still 4555 so you have to call a half of the time so uh, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too mad about myself if I just call here uh, because I'm just uh, being sticky all right let's check the range um, all right somebody asking for uh, can we uh, check BB's range turn. Yep, sure. So on this board, Ace Jack three. Again, we look at uh, racing combos. So this is a disadvantageous board and looks at ten point eight percent, which is similar to what we have seen before. And it is only good Ace X in our region, two pairs, and then the bluffs to go along with it, which is four five and flush draws. Some of the not flush draws, some of the non nut flush draws as well, like the Queen High flush draws as well. Um, so yeah, so that's one of the thing. I think what Salim's asking is, uh, can we check BB's uh, range turn? Yep, sure. Um, so when you look at this uh, turn, which is the three of diamond turn, uh, we do lead. We do have a leading range of fifteen percent, and and we do choose a bigger sizing. So smaller sizing is not chosen at all. Um, Yep, 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 yeah, the true, 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 Gavin. I think I would, I would as well. Uh, but yeah, I didn't, uh, there was a moment that I thought that we are good, we have to bluff catch. Uh, this is it, playing against a perfect opponent, he has bluffs, we have to call, you know, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so yeah, so if you do look at our leading range, I think queen deuce of diamonds, queen deuce of clubs, okay. Because there is a diamond draw and the club draw out there, we do we do lead a lot of hands around, you know, deuce and fours because those are the ones that blocks. Uh, I wouldn't say blocks three because that wraps around three would be a better term to use. Uh, 
and then we use the queen i think all the queen x hands are the best best bluffer uh best bluff candidates you know uh, with the draws so it chooses it's not choosing the ace x hands it's not choosing obviously ace x hands from short on value and the king x hands from short on value too so it, it chooses the queen x combos it chooses the 10x combos and it chooses fours and deuces to go along with the threes if you do have a three then yeah then raise it up and this is like reverse linearly uh, i don't know whether you guys heard of the top like ace three is checked more often than three four so three four is bet more because we're not blocking an ace so uh unblocking the ace yeah all right if you if you guys are here and if you haven't subscribed do subscribe guys i think uh, and do join our discord as well um this is where we share our study notes and people like gavin and uh, uh, andrew sinha and salim have uh, put in a lot of work and sharing and discussing a lot of hands uh, frank as well uh, discussing a number of hands uh, in the discord so that's an opportunity for you guys to learn and then form study groups and do some study sessions as well. So if you're just the app user, uh, yeah, uh, make use of it. Do subscribe as some of the notifications from the app takes a lot of time. I just got my notification, I went live. So uh, you don't get the immediate notifications like YouTube does. So do subscribe, do join Discord, all the good things that comes with it, um, it's free uh we don't we don't charge uh anything extra for it uh alex um correct me if i'm wrong so all right let's go to the uh, let's take a few more spots and then go to the next stack size uh maybe we go deeper or we can go shallower it's up to you um queen seven again a middling type of hand uh king queen jack it's obviously it's good for button not for us so we're just going to check the entire range and when he bets big and we do have a queen what do you guys do we are shallow we are 27 big blinds three is sprs is, uh four fold right here <laughs> says in caps send the lucky to avoid calamity of course but we can't fold a queen yeah uh, come on send the that's too weak uh to fold a queen anybody anybody who wants to fold a queen here anybody who wants to fold a queen <laughs> phone a friend uh, hopefully that friend is not <laughs> sentila rahul uh, rahul says fold salim says no call just once i go all in says alex i think this is uh, okay i'm i'm uh, i'll play as me i think i'll go with salim i think guys you have to call once i think calling is zero ev so they uh all the queens are green uh, as far as i can see so there is uh jack is when we start folding like jack 10 jack 9 is calling um and all the weaker jack x is folding and jack x without the back doors are folding so we do we do uh we do call once so uh, all right let's go check i think jack should slow him down a little bit so now if you have if he has uh, now we do have a full house okay <laughs> uh, if he has a king he does have a better full house if he has a jack he uh, he definitely have quads uh, so i don't know should we bluff catch no it wants us to block bet here guys block bet uh 50 percent pot is what uh any king queen jack uh, and then the bluffs, which is the 10x hands. Uh, Ace, all the ASX hands has some foreign value, so we're gonna check the ASX hands uh, because obviously jacks, queens, and aces is 50% uh, not a block bet. Yes, I understand. Uh, it's the SPR thing. Uh, we don't have a smaller sizing, uh, so it chooses the next smaller sizing sandal. You're you're correct that it's not a block bet, uh, but it but it is based on you know. It choose it choose that i think we i think we do give i don't know maybe we did the <laughs> all right uh nice spot study uh thank you thank you my poker india thank you uh if you don't have a king or a queen yes so i check there most of the times yes correct all right guys let's go deep uh, like do you guys want to see deep stack do you guys want to stay uh, see 20 big blinds okay 
uh, let me know. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe, guys. I think that's, uh, again, um, I'm just to make Alex happy. Uh, just subscribe. So, all right. Deeper, go deeper uh, or go shallower. 20 big blinds. I'll have a sip of water. All right. Um, and the flop is our stack size. Yep, 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 yep. We can't just fold. What would Fedor do? If Fedor is playing... Um, thank you, Mega Pokemon India. So, uh, what would Fedor holds do when playing for half a million dollars uh, against bit 2 easy? Will he fold a queen seven uh, with 30 big blinds? Uh, 30 big blinds? Okay. All right, Gavin says, shallow. Andrew, shout out to our man, Andrew Sinha. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, <laughs> deeper. Gavin says, shallow. Andrew says, deeper. Let's go deeper. Five hands, and then let's go shallow. Uh, some hands, too. So, I would say 60 big blinds is deeper in an MTD. So, let's go. How does the ranges change? So, now we do have the bottom top, uh, bottom pairs. Um, we do have, you know, we don't have that much middle-ish suiting type of hands, suited type of hands because those kind of three bit bluff uh, in this tag size. Villain's range is still linear. It has exactly the same range as we as we saw, like 30 big blind tape. So, uh, so range is a little bit different. So it's not just the stack size that's changing. It's the ranges that changes too. So. Keep an eye on it because the boards which are jack high, 10 high, 9 high are no longer favorable for us uh, because of this range composition. So, And we do have less flushes as opposed to the previous case as well. So, All right. The first hand that we see is queen, queen, 7 board. Uh, how many queens do we have in our range? Click on the big blind. You get to see all the suited queens, all the offset queens we do have, which is good. Uh, button doesn't have that much offsuit queen X, so so we do have the uh, we do have the num absolute combos of queens, more absolute combos of queens anyway. Um, so let's go. We're not gonna do anything better. Um, it's gonna it's gonna it's uh, like we are facing a small bet, which is which is good. Um, so this is the scenario that we're studying. So king is a nice card to have because it obviously wraps around a queen and we do have an overcard. We do have two overcards to the seven as well. So, all right, let's see. Uh, is this a raising hand, guys? Is this a bluff race? I think if you do have king of spades, if you do have the spade draw, if you do have uh, a seven, if you do have a queen, those are all racing. I think king eight is a fold. Correct, but that's not the point. Let's look at the check raising range. All right, this is a paid board. When we go deeper, we are raising twenty nine percent. So this is all shallow, guys. I'm just gonna uh, mark it as what color should we choose? Maybe we can choose red. Okay. So this is a paired board. Uh, this is I think red is for deep. So we're not raising that much, but we're still raising thirty percent. And calling is, and now we have do have a calling range. Twenty six percent is calling, and folding forty four percent. So paired boards are don't play call. I mean race or fold strategy as we saw in shallower stacks. And now when we are deep, we do have a number of calling ranges as well. So all the queen X is racing. So let's see. Let's untick these guys. So and then let's okay. Let's do this. So we do have the queen X which is rising. We do have 8, 9, 8, 10. So all those hands, 7x is rising. And I guess like uh, this king 7s is all, um, okay, king 5 is the spade version. So the flush draws are rising too. So, and the flush blocker, I guess, probably ace of spade. Okay, all the ace of uh, ace spade. Yeah, ace of spades. Uh, the naked ace of spades is rising too. So there you go. All right, cool, 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 cool. So any any questions? I think this is uh, deep is a little bit different. So the first board that we saw is a little bit different. So let's see what happens on a low board. So this is an advantageous board for us. So again, we haven't seen that type of board there. 
uh, it's 8 high, it's connected, but the range is quite li a little bit different. So we don't have the uh, we don't have this portion of the range which we saw there, and hence it's not going to be an advantageous board for us anyway. So so we're just going to check, and he checks back, and ten of spades. Is this a leading uh, leading card? Probably no. No, we do have short on value. There is there is four cards. There's nine. There is uh, spade. Everything is in buttons range as well. There is no reason to bluff. And he goes big. We are deep. Uh, we do have top pair top kick. We do have top pair good kicker. Uh, so this is the middling type of hands. And for this sizing, he can bet with a naked ace. He can bet with a 10 he can bet with an 8 um, which is why I would have bet the turn um, uh, no central I think this is where we we showed the range uh, we kind of missing that range so uh, yes in in theory we do have a lot of 9x but the ranges that used for the sims don't have the 9x so that's why I didn't lead the turn uh, but that's a good point though if you do have a lot of 9x then the button then it's definitely a lead um, Facing a big bet, and we do have a bluff catcher, so it should be called at least once, in my opinion. Um, check, and if we do face a big bet, it's gonna be troubles. <laughs> Luckily, we didn't we didn't get it. So, all right. So when we check, we'll check back, so we can't see the check racing range in there. So yeah, uh, correct, correct, Rahul. Well, as I said, like this is how the ranges play, and then in this particular range for this sim there is not much 9x happening so maybe we, we can go a little bit deeper i think 60 big blinds we don't have that 9x combos maybe that's confusing people so let's go 80 big blinds you guys want deep let's go super deep uh big blind versus button let's see if these ranges are any different again for some reason i think uh, we are choosing those 9x hands uh 10x hands as the three bedding uh combos so if you guys haven't studied our ranges so this is a good time for you guys to study those ranges uh i don't know <laughs> I, I think i have to be familiar with the ranges too even 100 big blinds we are three betting some of the 9x 8x 8 9 8 10 9 10 kind of combos so i think so be it so be it okay let's play this 100 big blind spot guys i think this that's okay um deep is deep but understand there is no 9x combo so all right, I think I forgot to turn on the out of position filter. So now we are the button. So we just gonna be, is this a C betting opportunity? Yes. Uh, do we have range advantages? Yes. Do we have nut advantage? Yes. So all those boxes tick. So we have to bet a number of hands. Uh, so we're just gonna range bet it. So he's gonna call Ace of Spades is a good card for our range uh, i mean good card for us but he's got all the flushes too when he calls his equity distribution is now mostly you know flushes mostly jack x hands mostly 3x hands uh, so should we realize or should we go for a second bet guys um what do you guys think Boom, 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 boom. Check, says Salim. Okay, all right, the first thing says check. So I'm gonna check and then see what happens. So we're gonna check. Um, he's gonna bet big on the river. So what should we do now? Check call, check call, check call. Okay, all right, let's call. All right, let's see. Let's, we're not folding here. Which is, which is an okay decision, Salim. I think uh, I wasn't feeling too comfortable calling as well because uh, it's 70-30, still 70-30. Uh, but yeah, uh, Queen-10 is kind of the cusp hand, which is making the making the fold. Yeah, shouldn't, uh, I think Sendel says, don't see many bluffs there, which is correct, I guess, if we look at, since this is a perfect opponent, he's uh, barreling with many bluffs, but even then, he has all the ASX hands. When he calls uh, the flop bet, his range is mostly, you know, uh, ASX hands. His range is mostly, you know, uh, flushes. is mostly, mostly, you know, the queen X hands, the jack X hands, whatever. And when he value bets on the river, it should be, uh, yeah, it should be, it should be. The, but the thing is like, uh, Sentinel says if we should be betting the turn. Let's see what hand, what hands are, okay. 
this is the uh, villains range but let's look at our our betting range sandal if you want to know our betting range it's purely let's see i think we should do that uh, combos thing uh, we bet with an ace of course we bet with king 10 king 9 king 8 all the king x combinations because it doesn't have you know now they we can put pressurize on his queen x hand jack x hand we do bet our sets now we do bet our 10x hands all the queen x hands and jack x hands are checking the suited hands which is obviously not a spade uh is checking so queen and jack yeah we do bet with a lot of hands but not with queen x hands and jack x hands those are all checking uh i know i know ace queen is in our range too but uh that's why he chooses this type of combo sandal i think uh we do bet our flushes we do bet our flush i mean naked naked flushes ace high and king high flushes we do we do bet our ace x hands we do bet our sets we do bet our you know uh pocket tens for a straight draw and this kind of stuff but we're gonna be checking uh we're gonna be checking the checking the queen x and jack x and take us off from a queue yeah uh, true 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 but we when we check we need to have some queen x and jack x too right so all right this is the button that you need to take if you want to focus on one position which is uh uh who is this sandal guy can you tell him to be quiet all right rahul uh is saying sandal to be quiet you guys you you guys are crushes crushes in gj um, thank you for stopping by and then giving us valuable advice uh i think one point to note sandal and Ra rahul is this is uh obviously gto ranges and gto opponents playing against gto opponents so uh there might be a number of exploits that you guys are familiar with when playing against a real population where people overfold a lot and when they do bet the river they do have they do tend to be more value heavy so yeah yeah so this is quite different because you're just playing against strictly balanced opponent who has right number of bluffs and right number of uh you know uh, values for the sizing that they choose so once you know how to play them then you can make adjustments to uh, to the to the thing as well so all right uh yes that's correct sandal that's correct queen seven is this a hand to check race guys ah, okay he didn't he didn't bet at all so there it goes and ace is not a good card for the lead so we check and then call uh that's correct to make a move then i check the turn that's correct correct and all these are good exploits guys Gu guys if you guys are watching chat take notes sendal is a crusher in melbourne uh live poker arena so do take notes too so uh 10 of hearts it's okay we are in the, still in the bluff catching region we do check and he checks it down next spot guys six nine all right juicy 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 we just flopped the straight so but there's a flush draw out there <laughs> 10 8 7 diamond boat we do have we do have 6 9 magic magic uh let's go check and then <laughs> he checks back should we take the lead here and start betting ourselves on the turn or should we slow play guys okay that's the question to ask yourself bet says titanius okay uh thank you for subscribing sunil kumar if you haven't subscribed this is your chance to subscribe guys uh naveen says bet lead says salim okay all right what is the principle behind leading or betting right so if he what's our range look like when we check our range is still intact when he checks back his range is different now uh we definitely have you already slow played the flop right yeah okay when do we slow play when do we slow play a monster that's a that's a question guys i think uh uh we do slow play a monster when we when our range is overall weak right so and then we want to hide our monsters along with our range of weaker hands so in this 10 8 7 we do have an 8 we do have a 7 we do have 10 8 we do have 8 7 we do have pocket so we don't have pocket nine, uh, pocket sevens. Uh, always bet the nuts is my theory. That's good. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, that's correct. That's correct. So let's take the lead. Okay. If you want to lead, what, what is the sizing here? He checked, right? So what he, when he checks his range now, a little bit cap. Yes, he does have some sort of traps. Um, he can have flush draws. He can have straight draws. Yes, that's correct. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I never slow play a monster unless I have a monster on the board that is suitable for other guys' range. True, 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 true. All good points. All right, six nine. Uh, all right, let's go bed, guys. Bed big, bed big. Okay, and then he calls. And now the ten of clubs repeats on the turn. Uh, it's not. It's not. Uh, he's not going to have pocket threes. He's not going to have pocket tens. He's not going to have pocket sevens. Uh, so I would be betting again. Uh, mainly he called, as Rahul said before, he can call with the nine, which we some of block as well. He can call with five, six. He can he can call with four, five. He could have called with you know diamonds. So this is a value bet here. Uh, if he does have a 10, if he does have an overpair, so this is our chance to get some value. 13 is good, but the solver prefers an overbet. Yes, Senthil, you're right. It's an overbet. 20 to 20, 150% pot is what is preferred. So good one, Senthil. So this is, it is definitely an overbet spot. Uh, the reason being, yes, if we, if we have bet our 10, uh then that's how we need to play our straights too that's correct that's correct so it's supposed to be an over bet uh gotta look like you're stealing yes that's correct so over betting is the correct answer guys i think uh, if you do want to bet this uh river i think over betting is the thing i think we are going with a number of missed draws ace four king four king five you know, this because we are over betting, we can have huge number of bluffs, right? We can we are we are value betting all our 10x hands, we are value betting our 6-9, uh, we are value betting our you know um, all our missed draws, all our missed uh, straight draws as well. So if we want our bluffs to get through, over bet. So Senthil, you're right. What did I tell? What did I tell? Take note, guys, take notes, take notes. That's the guy. That's. Uh, I think we should probably get him on uh, on camera and then uh, get get him in uh, in the stream. So well done, Sandal. Well done. You deserve you deserve a free flop, uh, free post flop plus license uh, give, as a giveaway at some point. But I don't think you you need it. So uh, can you check what villain is supposed to call versus the over bet? Yeah, that's a good question, Marcus. Um, so that's why you guys, if you missed something and then if you want to go and check, no problems. We do have the hand history functionality where you guys can see MTT. Uh, what did we check? We just, we did MTT last 10 games search. Then it gives you the hand history. So, uh, so you can replay the hand. So we did check, uh, he and then we take the lead which is uh, which is not the ideal ideal thing i think uh we wanted to go six nine is probably six nine offsuit is wants to use the uh over bed pot size anyway so uh <laughs> did someone said free Sentil got it, uh, Monster Poker Club. So yeah, all right. In this, we need to be using the overbet. So bang, and he get it. So villain folds. So Marcus wants to know what hands he is calling with. He's obviously going all in with Jack Nine. Okay, Jack Nine is a straight as well. So Jack Nine, uh, he's obviously going all in with pocket tens, Ace Ten, any of the tens that uh, that's there. Pocket eights and uh, sevens. For some reason, king ten, queen ten, jack ten, and ten nine is not going all in, and the weaker ten x is not going all in as well. So when he calls, uh, let's untick the folding portion because he's folding a lot. He's showing portion. So he's calling ace eight, king eight, jack eight, uh, ace seven, jack seven, seven nine, seven eight. Now obviously the two pairs are calling. Ten x are calling. Uh, pocket aces is calling, uh, and then pocket aces is a, is like a bluff catcher, right? So yeah, so that's a bluff catcher. So it 
in bluff catches. Uh, 8x is a bluff catcher. The 7x starts to fold. So I think if you see all the 7x, king 7, queen 7, jack 7 starts to fold, uh, Marcus. So hopefully this clear things up. So uh, for you, Marcus, so what do you do if baby shoves? Uh, you mean in this spot when baby shoves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what uh, uh, that's what we saw here, uh, Rahul. Uh, baby is supposed to raise ace 10, ace 10, 7, 10, uh, all the full houses, uh, pocket 8s, pocket 7s, and pocket 3s. Um, aces is calling, but kings, queens, all those Broadway type of hands is folding, all the jack x is folding, uh, pocket 9s, pocket 6s, all the pocket pairs are folding as well. Uh, along with some of the eight x as well. So, what? How? Uh, if button shoves river. If we go check and button shoves river. Uh, unfortunately, we can't explore that. Oh no, we can. We can. We can. Okay, that's. Uh, give me a second. I'm just gonna retry the hand. Okay. Now Rahul wants us to see what happens if we check and button shoves, right? So that's a good thing. So we're gonna check. We're gonna replay the hand and take that line and then see what happens. So we bet fifty percent, which is not ideal. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, why is he raising? Okay. So we're just gonna call. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute, guys. I think this is gonna. It, it just took a different line. Let's go retry hand. Uh, we're just gonna check, and he checks, and we're gonna bet. It's seventy-five percent. He's gonna call. Uh, we're gonna be checking, and he's gonna. He didn't shove. Uh, he's he's apparently betting betting thin. I think not betting thin, betting big uh, Rahul. So we're supposed to shove here, right? So we're supposed to shove, which is the correct answer uh, for this particular exact combo. But when the villain bets big, we're supposed to be calling bluff catching our a7, king7. Uh, yeah, yeah, ace3. Uh, ace deuce and then goes all in with all the full houses and straights and two pairs whatnot so there you go so that's the thing guys i think uh do do check rice do check rice baby i think it's uh it's been an hour so let's pause now uh when we over bet what if he shoves okay i think you can't force the villain to do actions using post law plus which is uh uh which is this is not a line line builder. So for that, that's where you have to have the new app, which is the solver app, right? I think let's go. Let's who wants to see the solver app uh, where you can take the line. I think uh, what is this line? I think uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> ignore the words RTA guys. I think we're not developing this as an RTI. So this is 10, 8, 7, uh, 3 of clubs, 10 of clubs. Okay, 10, 8, 7 board. Okay, all right, let's go. Uh, MTT, okay. 100 big blinds. This is big, we are the flat and three bit. We are the big blind uh, against the button. Okay. Um, okay, we don't have uh, 100 big blind against the button. We don't have the solves yet. Uh, maybe we can have it in cash. Okay, let's see. Uh, cash game, okay. Uh, because it will be the similar, right? 100 big blinds. Uh, we are flat and three, but we are the button. Uh, no, we are the big blind against the button. Yeah, now we do have the single race spot. The ranges are quite a, bit, a little bit different, but let's go. Let's say he has say, a six nine suited. Okay, just for argument's sake. So six of spade, nine of spade, okay. And then the board comes 10 of diamonds, eight of diamonds. Um, do you remember what the other one is? Seven of hearts, okay. Seven of hearts. So this is the new app, guys. So, uh, so we can actually, hey, Travis, welcome, welcome. Uh, uh, we are just showing our new app, which is going to be released uh, pretty soon for beta, uh, hopefully tomorrow or day after tomorrow. But yeah, but this is to answer Raghul's question as well. What happens if villain takes a different line? So 
uh, here obviously uh, from the flop hero is supposed to be checking 97% of the time so we do check you can input any flop you can input any cards and then get a result straight away all this uh, solves are done for you by us and then it's accessible from the cloud so that's the main purpose so you don't have to when you are in a question uh, spot like this like Rahul was thinking that he's gonna be what happens if button shows right so what should we do so that's exactly the question that we're asking ourselves so villain villain checks here uh, the turn was um, three of clubs right the turn was three of clubs okay the turn was three of clubs so let's go um three of clubs i wish i wish titanius i think uh, uh we have to develop it separately and then this is a different thing so so three of clubs uh we haven't even discussed pricing or licensing for this app anyway so uh, so this one, uh, what we're going to do, we, we have to be checking 56%, even though we have to slow play it, but we did take the big bet line. So we're going to be betting big and he's going to call, right? We, uh, we can even see the villain's frequencies here. We're supposed to show the ranges as well, uh, but it's not there yet. Uh, it's still in beta guys. So, uh, it, this will be completely free until the beta until the beta finishes so 10 of clubs is gonna go so now what we should do right so this is where we said uh the solar prefers an overbet right so he chooses i think this is a different same because this is uh let's say we choose overbet which is here and then villain shoves for some time and the correct answer here i don't think you guys can see this because this is uh hidden in the view uh, which is you guys can't see but anyway the answer to Ragul's question is uh, the solver says you need to be called uh, you need to be calling with a straight 100% of the time um, so but this is not the exact range and this is not the exact line that we took uh, because the sims that we are seeing is uh, uh, yeah the sims that we're seeing is different because this is a cache and uh yeah you can plug in plug in the you can plug in you can plug in the whole cards and then do something yeah but yeah it's still it's still in beta guys i think uh we will be inviting people on discord to make sure that uh you guys you guys can have access to it uh during this beta period uh but yeah but uh fall there for river show 100 percent of the time for a show as almost no one on the planet will bluff show 97 90 beat lines without a boat there say central correct 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 central i think there is uh, those are all exploits that we can take uh especially for 100 big blinds maybe 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 we should be calling that i don't know i think uh we, we can node lock things and then find out um uh for this cash game even though we didn't replicate the same scenario uh, because it's a different scenario, no antes, different bet sizes. Uh, for a in a in like a cash game, the solo prefers to call a lot. So that's it, guys. I think uh, uh, sure, Doreen. I think uh, if you need help, do join Discord, guys. I think there we offer app support. So uh, any questions there, do join there too. So entirely different in a cash game. Yes, of course, it's entirely different. So just to finish it off, guys, I think let me show uh, the check raising uh, hand that uh, I saw that I was, it was quite interesting to watch uh, Mr. Kale Burns check raising when playing for $600,000 up top against another good player so this is why we have to be uh looking at this so this is there's four people left uh bit too easy races under the uh, on the button uh kale burns one of the good players from australia uh defense and and yeah and then the flop comes top pair for luke and then kel burns has the nut flush draw so and doesn't matter there's a short guy doesn't matter like these are two big stacks a check raising hand must be check raised regardless so if you're not check raising these spots you are losing value do check raise guys so after this the hand goes check check and then jack 
on the river uh kills the action and then they do they do go to showdown but this is this just shows like even though they're playing for big money even though there is a short stack on their icm place check raising is valuable and then you get to you get to attack villains range as much as possible so do not shy away from check raising guys i think this is uh yeah this is an important topic if you haven't studied use post -war plus and then do your studies and then take notes i will be sharing those notes that i've taken today uh to you guys in discord so if you haven't subscribed to youtube if you have not in discord do that and i will share those notes to you guys in discord today later today all right thank you boys and girls and that's it for today i'll see you probably next week or even sometime before so gg and peace and uh, thank you for all the regulars rahul sinha salim gavin marcus uh travis the monster poker club guys sendal i'm sure i haven't missed anyone for dropping by you guys are awesome making this stream more enjoyable and lively thank you